Snatch um, becomes first African to top Billboard USA for Christian songwriter category. The USA Billboard ranked award-winning gospel singer and songwriter Osinachi Joseph, popularly known as Sinach, as the number one Christian songwriter globally for her song Waymaker. According to the data released in May, she has dominated the charts for the past seven weeks. Waymaker was released in December 2015 and has been covered by a number of globally acclaimed Christian music artists such as Michael W. Smith and Bethel Music, among others. That can only be God. Because the song has been <laughs> okay, okay. Waymaker. <laughs> because the song has been since twenty fifteen, like, and it's so amazing that it's just getting this international the words are powerful. recognition. And then there's been several covers. I just found that out recently as well mm -hmm. that a lot of um, international artists have done different covers to that song. So it's actually that. Big. And the covers as well are on the um, Billboard mm -hmm. Top One, mm -hmm. Top Ten. Mm -hmm. It's quite amazing. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's really kudos amazing. to um, Pastor Chris Oyakilome as well, which she, she would never stop talking about that. But um, that's one thing he has done for the, um, mm -hmm. should I call it the gospel music industry mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. He actually used his platform or his church to push their uh, their talents. He also this um, guy, what's his name now? Uh, Frank, Frank Edward, Edward was also Edward, from there, yeah. and he's he he's not doing it. There are some um, churches that would have talented people um, as this, but they are not ready to push them as mm. an individual um, talent. They to want them the to be of part, of, you know. But he gave them that. Um, I think he even paid for their studio sessions, did a lot for them to make sure that they are um, who they are today. And I think kudos to him for that. Mm. And then I think um, this would also help a lot of upcoming artists that want to go into the um, gospel music space and they're scared like, okay, if I'm not doing circular music, I probably won't be successful in the mm -hmm. music industry. I think Sinatra has broken all those boundaries um, from being the second highest viewed video on YouTube um, after David Dose is a fall or Eve. Mm -hmm. And then this, I think is just really commendable. And it's also the third most streamed song on YouTube globally. Mm. which makes it <laughs> even more amazing so mm -hmm. i just think that if whatever you want to do whether it's gospel whether it's um the circular space just do it and just and do it right yeah and just do it right come correct i always um like to look at like the music and the formation of it i think Waymaker, especially if you're looking at it in a gospel sense, is it's perfect in its sense. It's quite simple actually. If you look at it, there's nothing like woo about it. Um, and I remember when I saw this title, I was like, oh, oh. like you know, it just came some, back to me. There's like. just some songs that are very like extra. If, that, if you make it, but this song is very simple. It's very straightforward. And the word, I think, it, what I really like about it that it was written with um, precision. Like mm. she wasn't just like trying to just throw around um, lyrics. But I think what really did it for the Christian sphere is that it allows you to worship. Mm -hmm. Because for me, there's bigger lyrics that have moved me more. A good example is that one billion, one times billion. I think that song was like yeah, extremely so like, powerful. Mm -hmm. She's powerful. Yes. And the words are powerful Yes, as well. and I don't get tired of it. Like I, every time I listen to that song, I kind of see one, something that I didn't see the, 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 before that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think what the reason why this song is making more is that it's not about the song anymore. Because one billion is ab one billion is about the song. You have to listen to the lyrics. But this one allows you to really take it personally and make it yours. Yeah. Um, and it, I think it's one of those songs that'll be very like um, timeless. Like it will always um, fit the mood and be relevant throughout. And I, it, it's nice to have a Nigerian give the world that. So kudos mm. to her in regards to that. You said everything I wanted to say about. Um, Pastor Chris, um, mm. that's something I know uh, he, he does because they're, they're huge in my campus in South Africa and you know, something I knew that he always like spent a lot of time on talent and really giving people space to be almost funky is the word, like apart from just church. I have to say the House on the Rock also does a good job with that as well as a few other churches mm -hmm. as well. So if people can start to like follow that, we could be breathing really like powerful Christian musicians. Mm. And okay. also for me, that song is not just um, easy to worship with, it's, it gives a level of hope. Mm. So when you listen to it, it reminds you of the times that um, you can say God has come through for you and you know that he will definitely come through whatever it is you're going through so it's one of my go-to songs when i want to start um listening to worship song i start with so will i actually yeah. the one you're talking about a billion times and yeah. then i moved to waymaker and like that so congratulations to Sina.